your panties in the little boys' boxes at school. <laughs> and for yeah, man. but I'm like from the creek, so I don't even know what an Afghan is. I say the women with the butts that make you hungry for honey baked ham. This is insane. Um, everyone here is, is so young and hot. And it's just nice to fit in somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> Well, y'all look rich, and that's where we differ. Uh, I don't know. I've had a lot of life decisions that led me to this point, and I just I do shows every night, and after every show I go and I sit in my car and I pull down that little mirror and I look at myself in the mirror and I say, Catherine, you're so cute. You could have sold medical equipment. Hey, podcast people. It's Missy and, and Lori. Lori. <laughs> and we're here to tell you, guess what? We're on YouTube now. That's right. Whoop, whoop. You can see our face every you time. You can see our faces. And some people said, I can't find you guys. So mm -hmm. here's what you do. Go to YouTube like you normally do, right? You guys are smart people. Yeah. Type in pissed and pickled, one word. Boom, there we are. Then you one can word. start scrolling, find our fabulous interviews with... Catherine Blanford, which is on our show today. Kinser Leanne, guys. Kinser guys, Leanne Morgan. Uh, my dog, Frank. Actually, it's my grand dog. The Your Frankie Files. Dog, Frank I have this just ape shit crazy wiener dog that does all kinds of stuff. So I thought I might as well let you enjoy that also without having to clean up the mess. So we have that all going on. And what else do we have going on? We're going to check in with Ooh, Catherine all Blanford. Kinds of stuff. Yeah, we got all kinds comedian. of stuff. And this show is brought to you by... Kinzer Brand, fine athletic sportswear, chicken and pickle. Find them in a city near you. If they're not yet there yet, they're coming for they you. Are. And of course, my paddle, Sam and Richard. Sam and Richard Love out there. Guys. Those yep. are cute little paddle bands. Yeah. Everybody Put on your paddle, one. customize them, many colors and sizes. I almost said flavors, which is, that's not a bad idea. That might idea. be something. Hey guys, why don't you make works. some edible paddle bands? Ooh. I don't know. Just a thought. That is so a anyway, idea. let's check in with Catherine. And uh, we actually ended up in her hotel room with her. So let's check it out. With the one and the only. Catherine. Blanford. Yeah, <laughs> Catherine Blanford, folks. Wow. We just saw her. Wow, Catherine. And you know what else? She's Amazing. with us right now. Yeah. She is. Not only is she with us, but we're with her in her hotel room. Uh-oh. How do we do that? Don't get crazy now. I don't know how we do that. They don't question anybody and who anyone is when you walk through the Spring Hill Suites. Yeah. <laughs> Spring Hill Suites. They, they don't. But if you don't, if, if you have the unfortunateness -ness -ness. of not knowing who Catherine Blanford is, well, she shared the stage with Jeff Foxworthy, Ooh. David Spade, Ron White. Spicy. She's been on The Tonight Show. I yes. mean, high roller. High roller, baby. High roller. This is just the beginning. That's this right. Is. She's only getting yeah, right. started. Not to copy off any other famous comedians no. that's out there right now. But, uh, wow. Welcome, Thank Catherine. you so much. Um, this is a, I'm honored to have you guys in my home. That I purchased. <laughs> my town, my Spring Hills is Sweet's Town it's Home. Very lovely. It's uh, lovely. Thank in here. you. Thank you. And um, I, I'm nervous um, because we can tell. I'm coming to Kansas City in the weekend of the Super Bowl. Right. That yeah. You guys right. are in. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, God, I don't know anything about football. But I looked it up. I Googled football. Mm -hmm. And they said American or. Um, Britain and I learned about football. <laughs> also, I know three Obviously, jokes for it, yes. and I go, Kevin, you did it. You tried hard tonight. You made some you football jokes. They were good. And then I come here, and you go, Do you know anything about pickleball? And I go, Shit, it's happening again. And uh, I don't know anything. She doesn't about know anything about pickleball. Well, 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 you've heard about, about it, right? Yes. Okay. You've heard about pickleball. You, well, I was just watching. Oh, the show Shrinking. They have a lot of pickleball jokes. You yeah. guys have to watch it. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, a good show. Yeah, it's I great. Well, next time you roll through town, we'll take you and we'll go play and we'll teach you. So when somebody Please. asks you next time, you will know how to play. Yeah. Please. Okay. I would love to. Yeah. All right. Everyone All right. says it's so easy. And the it people is. that say it, I look at them and I go, if you can do it, I can do it. Yeah, because yeah. it originally is for like old people, like older than us. Yeah. And they can do it. So you old. certainly can do it. Yeah. All right, Catherine. So we, since you haven't played pickleball yet, we thought we'd check in with our lovely tips up with Christy Looney to give you a few <laughs> yeah. valuable. Maybe she's got a tip for you. You bet she Let's does. check it out. It's time for Tips Up with Christy, nationwide tournament player and instructor here to make you better. Hey, Christy, we're checking out you here at Chicken and Pickle, North Kansas City. We're ready for another tip. You just came off a gold finish. And what was that tournament called? The PPA Indoor Carvana 
um, indoor tournament in Minnesota. With lots of snow, lots of snow. Yeah, okay, we give, us, give us your quick tip for the week. Catherine here, she doesn't know how to play. She thinks she can walk out there and it's a piece of cake. What do you think? Well, it looks easier than it, it is. Uh, everyone thinks that. Even I think that. When I'm watching the pros, I'm thinking, this is so easy. But it's not. There's a lot of finesse and nuance and strategy and layers to this game that you're going to find out pretty quickly uh, when you get tagged in the boot four times. You're going to realize pretty quick that there's uh, more to this game than meets the eye, and it, 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 it's harder than it looks. Absolutely. So you went in as the number one seed in that tournament. Yes, I was in another, a number one seed in the mixed. Now, I was playing with a person I'd never played with before. Uh -huh. Great, wonderful guy. Uh -huh. uh, we were the number one seed. However, I did not look at that first, and I didn't know it. So in this instance, I should have known it because it would have built my confidence. And I didn't look to see that we were the one seed because sometimes when I look too much at my opponents and research them, um, sometimes it ends up working negative for me, negatively for me psychologically. So I chose not to do that. But in this incident, or in this instance, I uh, it would have helped me to know that I was the one seed um, because it would have been a confidence builder. Actually, having come off the the win with Julie, we went undefeated in that same tournament with Julie. So it would have been helpful to me, but I didn't do that. So I'm learning about the psychological strategy. Psychological. The mental toughness that's required. And there's that is an entire that is the entire other piece of the game that's beyond the shots, beyond this. It's mental toughness. Right. And being able to overcome like a lot of stuff mentally that has nothing really even to do with your shots. The mentality of the game. Congratulations Thank on you. your goal finish and congratulations on being a signed player from Thank Chicken you. and Pickle. Awesome, Christy. Thanks. Um, you just had a debut album come out recently mm -hmm. on this, in the summertime called Salt Daddy. Salt Daddy. Yeah, which uh, <laughs> you want to tell us a little bit about what that's about? Yes. You know, it's a tale as told old as time. Um, you know, <laughs> you're going to go to a trip and you say, we want to take an excursion. So you're smart. You went to college. You do the right thing and you find a man on Craigslist. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. To Always. take you, all right, on his boat, we go. Mm -hmm. uh, the the whole premise. Well, it's a true story, but he took his time on his boat, right? It, um, his he went by Salt Daddy. Mm -hmm. The joke is, we like, so when you were safe, because he has daughters. Sure. And uh, <laughs> we go out. Um, you know, it was fun. He poured drinks for us. You know, was, we thought we were hot shit. He was videotaping us. We were like, well. Yeah. Right on. Right. 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 <laughs> we're, we're in Fort Lauderdale. We're like we are. Yeah. And we're high rollers. Uh, we're high rollers. We are the queens of Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Um, we're gonna be working the club tonight with P. Diddy. Uh huh. And then we get to the middle, and he invited some of his friends to come out and join us. And it, then it, then you saw like the real Miami goddesses. Uh huh. I say the women with the butts that make you hungry for honey baked ham. Sure. <laughs> and. Uh, Long story short, he got on their boat and they like drove away for a few hours. And it's just a story about being like, oh, you know, you think you're hot shit. Yeah. And, um, and you there's that. always, yeah, there's always someone in Miami. Yeah. Um, that's going to take your, your daddy from you. Yeah, that's a sad story. There's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a very sad story. Um, but it's real. It's, it's real. real. It's I real. do. There, it's, a, it's a great bit. Um, but I, I, on my album, I do the real bit and then I, I did a very diluted, family-friendly version on Fallon. Oh, okay. Yes. And it's fun. If you go, yeah, if you go listen to the bit on Fallon, or the, the bit on my album, Salt Daddy, and then uh -huh. listen to Fallon, you will learn what the lawyers say I can't say. All right. <laughs> so when you were on Fallon, that had to be, like, the high of your highs yes, so far. Yes, amazing. Would you say so? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It yeah. was a high of high. I will say the night before I got to run my set at the Comedy Cellar. Uh -huh. And I, as a comic, being able to do the right. seller, yeah, seller yeah. and crazy. like following Colin Quinn and yeah, yeah. Uh, like just it was it was a dream come true. Yeah, uh, but every, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to say, I think I've almost made it. I, I, I know. No, yeah. I, the whole time I was laughing, I was like, they haven't figured out that I don't belong here yet. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so, I certainly belong in the podcast world because your podcast is ranked in the magazine top fifty. Yeah, um, called Cheaties. Cheaties. Right? I and love cheaties. It's That's about fun. people that cheat, cheat and yeah. or have been cheated on. Correct? Yeah, they do, people call them. They tell their stories. It varies from uh, like you, uh, a high school story, you know, very surface level funny, to like some deeper Serious ones. Serious shit. Yeah, and it all. I mean, in, I do it with another fellow comedian, Lace Larry. She's in Atlanta with me, and uh, we've really found a, a great way of towing the, you know, getting into some deep stuff if you can, and then coming out of it and uh -huh. finding. 
light and humor in it all. Um, but it's been a journey. Like, it's been really cool. It, it went somewhere that we didn't even expect it to uh -huh. go. Yeah. Uh, no, it's That's the cool. best. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And 188, Stabby 8. I love that. Yes, yeah, yes. That's so funny. That's such a great... Um, so yeah, you have a hard time getting it, people to participate, or, or are your phones like ringing off the wall? N well, it's kind of funny. Like sometimes we'll have some. We, we, it's we're still comedians, and so we like to have comics on. So we mm -hmm. like staggered. We'll have a comic on, and then we'll have a caller on. And the best part is because it's a number, and it c comes through an email, mm -hmm. the number to call in. So you like wake up on a Tuesday morning, and you'll be like, "What's this email?" And it's like some woman at like two a.m. Like sometimes we get drunk callers. Oh. <laughs> like, I'm gonna call Genies tonight. You know, and I'm like, I'm gonna give me a big bullet. Yes, and you can just hear how like they're very drunk, and they're like, "Girls, you're not gonna believe it." And it's, it's some woman in Missouri. You know what I mean? Like, okay, so now. She had five kids, but then there were just two. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but those yeah. are my favorites, is getting drunk cheese. That's awesome. Dogs. I bet. And it is. Drunk it's, a lot, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. We listen to your podcast and just oh, laugh. Geez. We think it's hilarious. And that's why we reached out to you. It's like, you are hilarious, and we need to talk to you. So, yeah. And, and you on. are, and you were so gracious to say, hell yeah. And you even let us give you a ride back, and you have no idea Thank who you even are. Thank and you. you gave me a jersey. I got yeah, to wear it on did. stage. And you I thought we so wanted it back. Sport not Indian mom. givers. Can you yeah. say that? Is that I politically feel like not correct? We're, uh, we're not chiefs. American. We're not chiefs. Chiefs uh, givers. Commander, commander yeah. givers. Yeah, commander <laughs> givers. <laughs> Well, have you been pissed lately, Missy? Quite a bit, but the one that comes up the most, um, I don't know, I'm figuring uh, the My Paddle guys, Richard and Sam, have this issue with passwords. What the hell? Passwords. I Ugh. mean, you're changing passwords all the time. Right. They're right. like, I'm changing. I mean, I try to use the same one, but you can't. I try to use, I mean, how many times can I freaking change Daddy Saddle 69? <laughs> I know. Right. Richard and Sam they say that's like a week. Password. Yeah, that's How strong. many of y'all are using Daddy Saddle 69 Apparently, as your password? Maybe you need is. to add like an asterisk or an exclamation so point to make it stand apart from yeah. the other people. I yeah. don't know what Richard and Sam, the My Paddle guys, use, but I bet they have to change theirs often because they've changed all their software. It's much easier to order thousands of bands or just mm -hmm. one or whatever. You can order four for the price of two and get 15% off with our code PISSED. And order those up. Get them for put them in Easter baskets. Put them. Uh, give them for friends. Idea. They're great gifts. They're yeah. they everywhere you go. People are like, hey, where did you get that? I'm telling mm -hmm. you where to get it. My paddle, Richard and Sam. Check them out. You got anything that pisses you off? Uh, so many things. Yeah, I don't what know where got? to start, but. Um, where would I guess I'm gonna go with one of my first things is when people go um, this this was a lot just just when you start posting stuff online people go I don't even think people realize it they'll go uh, they just put you in the category of female comedian mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's like you all of a sudden have you have to portray their version of what they expect the female to to act like because they're female and it's like m male comedians whatever you want to, I don't want to even call male I'd be like that's comic right mm -hmm. but right. like but like any I just feel it's I wasn't even like this like you don't put women in your box but until you start putting yourself online and you see the crazies that comment mm -hmm. and you realize like they don't look at guys and go you're not my type of comic because you're a guy they just you know what I mean right. They, right. they can't wait to comment and go well, women are always dirty, or you're not dirty enough, or you're a woman, mm -hmm. so you're not talking about this enough, or you're a woman, so you're not doing this enough. And it is yeah. an insane... It's ridiculous. Insane world to, like, uh, put your out in. Male. Yes. Yeah, right. uh, yeah, I don't know what his name was, but he's like, yeah, uh, I don't know what to expect tonight. Female comedians don't really bring a big crowd, and unless they got a niche, unless they're a teacher, mm -hmm. or they have kids. I'm like... They just ass. Right, so they just automatically put you in a box. It's yeah. like funny. It, like, it's, they wouldn't say about a guy. They wouldn't right. go. Oh, no. uh -huh. it's, then you're just a comedian. And right. they yeah. give you the benefit of the doubt. But like the minute you just, because you're a female, they right. go, female. 
Mm-hmm. And it, and it's like yeah. then it's all like your your world you are so narrow to them. Yeah. You either do it for them or not. It's just I don't know. It's well, fun. You certainly did it for it's everybody that was in there Thank because you. everybody had a great time. Was a and joy. I have a confession to make. Yes. Uh-oh. Um that was me with the horse sound. And oh I, my god, was it? <laughs> did you I threw it, it on the lady with the horse sound? It was a witch. I threw it, it on the lady with the bad bangs behind me. That was you. <laughs> <laughs> She was yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. was, did, were you doing a witch on purpose? No, that was my no. horse. It yeah, was a really bad. That what? Was horse. What kind it. of horses do you guys There's have no up here? Like what do you guys do with your horses up here? <laughs> that was total Wizard of Oz. <laughs> it really did was. Did pretty? Yes. Like that, yeah. I, I started, I don't know, because... I talked about being a horse girl and I neigh, and I this brought up one show where somebody we did a neigh off, and it started making me ever sense because it always is so much fun. That is a fun. It is so much fun, even if they're good. Like Uh I try and compete with them, and I can't. Yeah. Uh, There was a woman I I was just in Great Falls. I don't even remember Cedar Falls. I don't even remember. Iowa. Iowa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in this theater. There's 400 people. This girl's like, she shoots up her hand. She's like, I can do it. I can nay. Teeny (laughs) tiny little girl. I bring her on stage. Like, it's like she has to go through the back. She comes on the stage. Tons of people there. I'm like, okay, you can do it. She musties up her hand. She goes, nay. And it and it was like and then the room just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most juvenile name. Like she didn't actually like, oh, like she's she was a thing. Well, that was fun. That was a little crowd, a little crowd you participation there. That is yeah. fun. The lady was like, I know it wasn't me. It, it wasn't. I swear, I didn't do it. <laughs> like you with the bad bangs. Yeah. Was, you know, sometimes things come out before I need them to. But it was funny. It was yeah, super was duper funny. So, any other pissed off things? That come okay, out? a million things, but I will say, I know I talked about this tonight because it happened to me this morning, but if you're not, do the, you got to move over on the, on the moving sidewalk in, 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 in the airport. It's the people that take up both sides of the moving sidewalk and yeah. chill there. And I'm like, these are four people who are about to miss their plane. Yes, and then I'm hurry. Move. Yes. And I almost, there was a couple holding hands, taking up both sides, and I truly almost red rover through them. Yes, you <laughs> should. Because I want to break <laughs> their fingers. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, it's people on that take up both sides of the escalator or both sides. Yeah. Let's say you can tell you can travel a lot. But if you take up both sides, if you're standing next to me, you take up both sides of an escalator yeah. or or a You're going to get your knee clipped. Yeah. You deserve you to. That's true. They yes. act like it's a carnival ride or something. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I, I always talk about tonight way. because it was recently. But yeah. but when you're in line for some, like a chef making something and you order three per, for one person, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like yes. Yes. an omelet yes. or somebody? Yes. yes. You get one per order in right. a line yeah. right. for, for making your own whatever. Your back again. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I agree. I think you're on to that. I do too. And that hasn't been anything anyone's ever said before. You're so original, Kevin. It, it um, drove me. I almost went to jail that day. Me and the lady started, that was that, the make your own omelet line. It was mm-hmm. a long line and she ordered three <laughs> omelets for her one person. You were ready to cut her. We started, we started shit talking each other. Can I say? Yeah. You go can ahead. say shit. Um, to the people next to us. Like not to each other, but oh, we're yeah. so past, this is how Southern this situation was uh-huh. is that we were both shit talking each other out loud to the persons next to us yeah, but not I like to it. each other yeah for minutes like what were you like this uh, bitch thinks she's gonna order did you right. like i was omelet? like i was like does she have to order her omelet for her husband because he doesn't want to stand in line with her with no mm-hmm. ham and yeah right and she and she'd be talking to her daughter like a year ago i would have snapped honey but i'm a changed woman now <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Well, yeah. I mean, that's that sounds. Fun. People are in a hurry. They get things People to do. Are it's like, come on. You you're not the only person on the earth. Well, you, okay, here's the thing. You all three have to stand in the line. So you let the people know behind you that this is a three omelet order. Right. Yeah. With three people. Right. 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 Correct. You I must agree. stay in the you're line on. and do your time. You you have to pay the omelet tax. Yes. You have to stand yeah. one line stand per and if omelet. If you don't, then you don't deserve an omelet. You don't get a, you don't just get to have wake up coffee. and have an Sorry. omelet served to you. You stand in the line. You do not. The omelet. I get it. I, I get it at home. I get it. That pisses you off. I agree. It pisses totally. me off. I I totally You're taste the shit out of me. That. Yeah. Oh wow! We're getting revved wow. up. We are getting revved up here. Yeah, at the, at irritated. The, uh, <laughs> Spring Hill Suite. This yeah. is a pretty nice room you have. I like this room. It's different. You're pretty big time. You really are. Well, thank you. Um, this is what they give the comics 
the Thursday comics. Oh, wow. Okay. And that's that's impressive. Yeah, oh, I can shit. only imagine yeah. what they get. Probably more chairs. Sweet. <laughs> Probably more chairs. <laughs> <laughs> You're They're sitting on it. Yeah, I, I got know. the only chair. Oh, I grabbed yeah. it first. So. I, there we go. I've got, what do you call this? The, the luggage rack. The thing. luggage rack with the pillow. Yeah. What do you, what do you yeah. have? This year on the coffee table with yeah. a, an Afghan. Yeah. It's fine. Is that any syllables? Afghan or is it just Afghan? I say Afghan. How do you say it in the South? You're from Atlanta, right? Afghan. Yeah, but I'm like from the creek, so I don't even know what an Afghan is. <laughs> it's, it's Isn't a, that uh, a dog? Re, yeah, I Afghan. know that's a shaggy dog. Yeah. The one with the Are you sitting dog. on a shaggy dog? Uh-uh. No. That dog got that got dog got a tail braided in recess. Yeah. But you are from Atlanta, right? Well, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. Okay. Louisville. 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 Yes. That's right, because we Louisville. talked about the Kentucky Derby yeah. earlier. Yes. Yeah. And then you, you migrated to Atlanta. Migrated to Atlanta South. after went to South Carolina for college. Okay. <laughs> are you a Gamecock? Yes. Oh, that, was, that, was my Gamecock. Mom, that was my rooster. So you are an SEC fan, so that's why you were dogging on the zoo. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It makes yeah. sense now. It makes sense. She, it, it wasn't just a random dog. She, mm-hmm. had, yeah. she had a dog in the fight. She had a purpose. Yeah, it would be like that. It, I mean, give Mister, you can do whatever you want, but it's SEC. I mean, I'm like, it just doesn't make sense. Right. But then there's like Texas is about to move. To yeah, move Oklahoma. To SEC. Did you ever see when that? Um, you know, Oklahoma. Do you, do you follow sports at all? Kind of. You know that covered wagon, the Sooner Boomer or whatever. Yeah. Did you see <laughs> that thing wiped out on the football field? No. Yeah. <laughs> that is so good. It did. I did not. It did. It, did. it flipped over, and all those Oklahoma Sooner people were running everywhere. When you said covered wagon, I immediately thought of <laughs> my Valentine's box. Your panties. She used panties <laughs> for a covered wagon. Huh? You know. Were you asking someone to prom? Like, what? what? No. <laughs> Remember when you were a kid? It was Valentine's Day. You know those boxes. And this is not make... where I use panties to cover I mean, it's not where this is going. And you but put your you... panties in the little boys' boxes at school. <laughs> your mom's. It was no a less. scratch and sniff. It's that mom's panties. That mom's panties. That mom's in the box. <laughs> no one will ever like We're well, moving right along from that because we're different from different parts of the country. Right, yeah. a little bit. They don't use panties on their boxes down no. south. <laughs> they don't use they panties don't on the boxes anywhere. It's just you. It's just you, man. <laughs> but what were you doing with the panties? You make, like, you know, covered wagon, the, the covered part. You just use an old pair of panties and make, <laughs> make that cover. <laughs> on what wagon? How okay. big is this wagon? <laughs> it was her daughter's Valentine's Day box. You know, when you were a kid, <laughs> didn't you have Valentine's boxes? And, and the, yeah, you know, it was a shoebox. We'll we get put it. panties on it because we were third grade. Okay, let's move on to. Uh, I don't understand. You make I like a creative was... thing. So uh, just say over there, that girl that's filming for us. Yeah. A covered wagon. You remember that, Allison? I would say I don't recall your panties <laughs> being you on a covered wagon. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a. No, but I thought it was a piece mom, of like. Mom. Crafting foam. Yeah, no, those were mama's babies. <laughs> that was a uh, maxi Did you get <laughs> extra Valentine's that year? To make it worse, she sent me to school in kindergarten, Halloween, in a bikini. A leopard bikini to be yeah. pebbles. Yeah, that's did come. It's fine. I, that's fine. adorable. Yeah. I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, she actually she was dog bones. That's inappropriate my for that. You got, <laughs> you got, they love a parent-teacher conference with that. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Absolutely. So when you have kids, Catherine, and it's Valentine's Day, you just remember old piss and pickle here in that covered wagon and get some real old sassy None of this makes panties. sense at all. You know you it make shouldn't. a covered wagon with your mama's panties for third grade Valentine's Day? <laughs> no one does that. No one does that. Before. Was that a yeah. 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 So yeah, When sketchy. we see her again, it's going to be coming out on the stage. I just know it is. The, cover, the panty cover wagon? Yeah. Uh, I don't even understand why there's a wagon. <laughs> <laughs> you you put the Valentine's in the wagon. Box. Like some people made robots, some people. I made think we should move on. If you box. did panty, okay. <laughs> Cover wagon right panty. I think we should spend. It was like a on brutal this. war saying she was on her period. I'm sorry. Oh, this thing. That's the gold rush, but it wasn't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and All right, gold. moving right along. That's gross. Every time we have a guest on our show, and God, it's all the time, isn't it? And oh, every day. Down our door to get on this show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, quit laughing at that. That's funny. So we like to play a game that it's sort of like this or that, but we call it one or the other. Okay? Oh so one we're going to give you two things, and you're going to tell us what you prefer. All right? Okay. So go ahead, Missy. I'll go first. All right. Jello shot 
Jello wrestling. Oh, um, um, Jello shot. Okay. Um, Jello wrestling is one of those things where it's cute when you're 20, but it's like, it's Jeez. like when it's like when you would go dive in the ocean and you're like, ah, oh, that's fun, and then you're pretending to have fun afterwards, but everything's real itchy and sticky. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, so jello it's shots. It's that in residue. This. Okay, I'm gonna circle that. Bang. Right. Circle that. Okay, okay so it. do you prefer carnival food or three day old taquitos from 7 Eleven? Mm -hmm. Oh, carnival food. Carnival All food? This, that's, yeah. that's the fresh taquitos. What, what do you like? What, what's your favorite? Um,. Like? Oh, I love when they would just, the, the fry, like they fry the air Oreos, or have you ever had fried butter? <gasps> no. Oh, wait Did you like that? You're eating fried butter, but you're dissing me for panties on my covered wagon? Yeah, did you hear what you just said? <laughs> <laughs> did you hear you? Are your headphones working? <laughs> <laughs> fried butter. I want to try it. I know it sounds you gross, You fried but... Or oh, that sounds amazing. The only yeah. bad thing, it just looked like poop. Yeah. This looked like yeah. well, could, you, could you say that into the mic more? We didn't pick <laughs> up on that place. enough. Yeah. Do a little yeah. ASMR with that. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. yeah. I got to real every day. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't care. I don't care. That I'm so into that. Yeah. Fried I'm butter. Fried, fried everything. What would you? What do you eat fried butter on? Uh. Nothing. Nothing. You, there's no re you don't have to have a reason for it. You're at a fair. Wait, wait. Carnival. Is that like a big stick of butter? This one was ba balls. Ball butter balls. balls. Butter like balls. A, like a falafel, Ooh. but oh. uh, for people that, that go, that talk about people with falafels, like those people. You know oh. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm into it. I'm going to try it. Making that. me it's hungry. Fun. Just yeah. sitting here. I am hungry. You should have went to Taco Bell. You're going to ask Missy. You're up. All right. Comedy festival okay. or testicle festival? Mm. She probably never been to one of those. I bet she I've has. never been. Have I been to a testicle? Well, I have been to a Dave Matthews Band. Hey, hey, hey! Touche. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go comedy festival. Okay. Comedy festival. But I, I mean, here because I, I feel like I'm, uh, um, and. I feel like a, like I'm older than I, my body is because I'm just so tired all the time. So okay. I would just be looking at those testicles like I'm, I, I'm so I'm so tired just looking at it. Yeah, they are tiring those damn testicles. Yeah, yeah. There is a testicle festival. <gasps> is there a real thing? festival <laughs> in March that you can come back? What is it? A WWE? No, no. no. It's you, you will come back. have some deep fried balls. Testicles. Oh my God! They that are called. Um, Wait, you're like eating the testicles? Yeah, like Rocky turkey Mountain Mountain fries, oysters, or turkey fries. It's you're like, shitting me. Is that what they're called? I'm not yeah. shitting you. That's what it is here in the Great Midwest. You come back in March. We're going to a testicle festival. Yes. And and you are you, you eating eat or not? The You'll balls? eat a ball sack. Yes. yes. And what does it what does it taste like? They say chicken. <laughs> I've never had one, but I'm gonna say chicken, and I'm gonna I'm gonna taste one. I'm gonna do it. Do you fry it? Do you put yeah. it in sauce? You deep fry that shit. You do deep fry that. Mm -hmm. At that point, you're just like trying to erase. Yeah. Kind of like trying to erase the nut sack. Kind of like the fried yeah. butter. I don't know. Yeah. Wow, don't that's know. really interesting. It's okay. really gross. Pencil and her fun. in for the testicle. I'm tapping yeah, a pencil. You I would like to. I, here's what I would like to do. I would like to bench press. Like, I'd like to see how much I could bench press, then eat two testicles. And then see oh, if I can pinch I like press what, more I like where your head after is. I've ingested male cow testosterone. Yeah, I like, I like what head is. Um, I'm feeling like you would have a ton of energy. Probably a lot of protein, and you just nail that shit. And she like probably I watch a lot of TV and leave her socks on the ranch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Where's the remote? Anyway, okay. okay. All right. What else you got? Stale Swedish fish. Do you know what yeah, those are? I hate them. Or, I'm not candy, but I have a chocolate I bet she likes circus peanuts. Circus, I don't know what circus peanuts are. Oh my god, yeah. Catherine, have you been living under a rock? I've been living in the south. Young. I've been living in a creek. How about grits? Yeah, oh, you're a grits girl? Yeah, I love grits. Okay, all right, all right. All right. No, I, I like chocolate and salty. I don't like... Chocolate grits? No, I like chocolate and salty. I don't like... Can, can we just stop and talk about candy's good? It's all good. <laughs> I feel like salty is going back to the nuts. Yeah, yeah, yes, I would eat that. Right. I would eat that. We're back to the testicle. I would eat festival. chocolatey yeah. nuts. She's going to be down before too. I eat a We're going to send you a t shirt on the testicle. A Swedish fish. Okay, we're going to do they this. They suck. Yeah. I 
I hate sweet potatoes. They're not good. All right, what do you got, Missy? I got um, dentist appointment or gynecology appointment. Gynecology appointment. I love Me too. It. They always make it's like I a mini, love it. It's a, <laughs> it's a mini therapy Get up session. In there. Really? Okay. Here's what you do. You got. I know this sounds you whatever, but you got to have a woman gynecologist. Oh. And if you talk to them about anything, they will make you feel like, like, listen, it's hard being who you are, but we're gonna get through this together. Is essentially like what that whole appointment they need to switch to a female, in. huh? I w okay, I was going to a male. I was going too. to a male that Me I too. found on Yelp, oh. and I, he put <laughs> me on some copper IUD, right? And I oh. was not to get too graphic, but do it. I ended up having almost to go to her because I was anemic from losing red blood cells. If you get what I mean, like I was, oh, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, I had I had weeks long, whatever. I'm not trying to get graphic, anyways. But I just remember going. I found this woman gynecologist. I went to her, and she goes. And I told her, I was like, well, I was going to see this guy, and he put me on this copper one, and he goes, oh, oh, right, right, right. He he, uh, he had a suggestion about a uterus that he doesn't have? Hmm. <laughs> oh. Exactly. Why am I going to a male? It, yes. I, I mean, I was like, dip. yes. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Easter, I'm not coming back. <laughs> I know, I'm trying not to go, I'm trying not to say you, you, you be whatever you want to be, but there's something about a man going, True. I want to be a gynecologist. I go, yeah. why? Yeah. You, know, why? you had so many other options. Well, why is what you pick? looking at there? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Settle down. Okay. Moving right along from that one. Uh, gasoline smell or crayons? Gasoline. Gotta love I like gasoline. Gasoline. Yeah. Right. Gotta love it. I like gasoline. Gotta love it. I take a whiff every time. She's crayons. I, oh, I, I mean, have a crayon person. She's always got her face in the crayon box. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Try it. Weird as shit. No. I, no, I, I know you have already. Have you ever noticed a new um, uh, uh, VW car always smells like crayons? I don't drive a VW. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter had one, and I felt like it smell like why do you think that is do they melt it's crayons so down to make the dashboard or something? make the whole car i think oh. they use the, the all yeah the whole car sunshine <laughs> color so you can't park that bitch yeah. in the sun mm. <laughs> she'll melt <laughs> down into one color <laughs> okay. this sounds crazy but I swear if somebody's listening to this and has ever been in a v vw anything they'll know what i'm talking about yeah. i'll be like that bitch is right yeah, yeah it's awesome. all right. okay all right how about a sock with a hole in it or underwear with a hole in it Oh, underwear the hole in it Me too. all day. I'm Have you ever had your toe come out of the sock? Oh, and you never had your toe come out of your underwear. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, then. Move right along. <laughs> I love that one. That's a good Feel one. Feel free to use that one. Yeah. Okay, um... <laughs> And this is not really a one or the other, but I just want to know, because you, you're very knowledgeable, Catherine, on many subjects, Okay. As, as we've come to know. Yes. So, who do you think closes the bus doors when the driver gets off? Thank you, Stumper. Talking. God? <laughs> oh, good answer. I feel like I'm on family She good said, answer. yeah. Guys, <laughs> is it God? <laughs> Have you ever thought about that though? No, I have thought. never thought about it. Yeah. I think. I think they just push it close when they get off. Their, but they're yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't God. know, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Good question. That's a you. really good question. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. And it makes you makes you feel cruddy for not thinking about them. It does because poor guy. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else do you have, Missy? Okay, I have this. What do you got? Bill Cosby. Or Bill Burr. Bill Burr. All Boom. day. Bill Burr. That's Love my guy. Bill Burr. Me too. Love Bill Burr. He's so great. He's so good. Okay. He could say anything and the way he frames it. God. This is how good of a comic he is. He can say the most controversial, angry thing and the how he, sa the he says it in it. such an honest way that you go, damn, what you're saying is effed up, but I get it. I, I agree. I get it. I yeah. get what you're saying. I get yeah. it. I yeah. get it. Oh man, he is. He's a delight. So yeah, he's the hell out of Bill Cosby. He's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. But Bill Cosby has a jello pudding. That's we, true. He's, he does that. have that. I'm, no, I'm. But I'm more of a pudding than jello fan. So. Oh, well, there it is. Yeah, because she didn't want to get in it. For yeah, I remember. I feel you. So, do you think um, vegetarians should eat animal cookies? 
<laughs> yeah, it's the only way they can get a medal. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, God, what else do you have? I'm see? just wondering, so when you were little, I mean, I know like a comic, you probably just enjoy making people laugh. When did you know, like, this is my niche, I want to do it? Like, what age were you like, this Love is this. fun? This is my favorite story. I did not grow up a stand-up comic fan. When I was like high school, I my my f fandom of comedy was Dane Cook and Kevin Hart. Like mm -hmm. great comics, but like very mainstream. Yeah, you know, just the most commercial household names. But I was a class clown or whatever, you know, like him. Mm -hmm. And I was in high, I was in college in South Carolina. I was in a sorority, and was kind of always like a little bit of a fish out of water was always kind of finding more and thought oh, a lot of this stuff was silly and dumb mm -hmm. or would make fun of it. There was a fraternity that had a, it was called uh, Venus, Miss Venus. And it was like this, uh, like kind of pageant show they'd have every year. And uh, every sorority had an intern and a girl and they had to do like three rounds. They had to like dress up and do a question. Then they had to do a talent. And I remember the talent, I would always go and watch. It was always like girls, dancing or whatever and like mm -hmm. something and, and so my sorority entered me my junior year I didn't have a talent I was like I can't dance I can't do any of those things so I did a sketch like I was Chelsea Handler had her show Chelsea lately at the time so I went out at top in the beginning and I did a monologue but I roasted all the fraternity guys <laughs> and then I did you had to use a pledge so we oh, used that's awesome like we wrote a sketch where he was uh, Charlie Sheen at the time. When, remember when he was winning? Oh yeah. Tigers, yeah. Whatever. Tiger's blood. Tiger's blood. Yeah. And we so we wrote the sketch. It was really funny. And I won. And I was like, and it, it was like a little like triumph for me. Like, oh, high. you can win off of you know being witty and funny. You don't have to like do a do. You don't have to twerk to yeah. win. You know, it was like <laughs> it was like, and um, and that was my first taste of like doing comedy. I, I was like kind of fell into it. I didn't expect it at all. Uh -huh. And like. So years after that, I just had this bug in my head, like, I want to try that again, I want to try that again. So I like, graduated college and took a bucket list, I took a class, and then I was hooked after that. That's awesome. Wow. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. That's cool. So what else? So I know you you have a significant other now. Yes. Correct. A landlord boyfriend. A landlord boyfriend. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Kind of Where'd you guys in there? Um, I was dating a comedian. Found out he cheated on me in the birth of my podcast, Cheaty. Cheaty. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. He's still living, he's still staying on my couch. And when I was hosting my own show, I would produce in a, at a brewery in Atlanta. Started the show, was hosting it right at the top, right? And this guy comes in, he'd been to the bar, he came in late, somebody was sitting in his chair, so he leans against the wall. And hit, I was doing a bit about being cheated on, right? I'm like all fired up. So he leans against the wall, hits the lights, turns the lights out of the <laughs> whole room. <laughs> wow. And I'm like, who the hell? And he's like this tall, dorky, like kind of financy guy. And I'm like, this is the epitome of everything I think I hate, yeah, right? Dick. Right? So I make fun <laughs> of him. I sit in front row. I make fun of him the whole show. And then he asked me out on a date. Now I, I go on it. My friend goes, I, my friend's like, go on a date with him. I was like, no. And she's like, you're really awkward. You don't have a date. Go practice. <laughs> <laughs> so I went on practice. And uh, and then we, we just like hit it off. And we've been dating ever since. That's awesome. Yeah. So before him, on our show, we always go to Missy because Missy's a single gal and does a lot mm -hmm. of online dating and segment of our show is Missy's dating debacles. Yes. They're always so disturbing. And Love this. Oh, hell. What in the hell have I gotten myself into this time? I'm thinking to myself, why am I allowing this to happen? <laughs> We're walking down the stairs into this old basement and I'm thinking, this is where I die. Well, before we get to asking Catherine about her dating debacles, because yes. I know I a girl that, that cute and that fun so and adorable. itchy, I just yeah. love her. Very I just want to just sit her up on a shelf in our office and like look at her. Catherine on the shelf. Yeah, yeah. kind of like Elf on the shelf, Catherine yeah. on the... Yeah, I'm sure know, she's had quite she's, a few dates. She's probably been on a few things. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But yeah, sketchy ones. She's probably but... been on, and you are the dating debacle queen, brought to you by Kinzer Brand. Yeah. And they, you know, spring has sprung, sort mm -hmm. of. It's snowing here today, but well, spring has almost sprung. Tank weather. And it's almost tank top weather. Mm -hmm. And you can get yours, and they're going to get some new stuff too. But we got Catherine a couple of hot 
a hot pink and a royal mm -hmm. blue that will match those eyes of hers. Then she has to have gorgeous eyes. Lovely lady. She's just a cutie patootie, mm -hmm. guys. So funny. Um, from Kinzer Brand, fine athletic wear. Check them out also at Kinzer.com. Get your additional 15% off. We're just giving sales left and right here. We are. Throwing, throwing shit away. I feel like I am like. Uh, I don't know, Kmart, Blue Light Special. Hell yeah. Do they even have Kmarts anymore? I think I just no. hated myself. For a sketchy have, one downtown. They don't They don't have Kmarts. But anyway, <laughs> I'm glad. Get your 15% get your off with code Pissed and Pickle. Kinzer.com. Check them out. Up. Well, I'm glad Catherine's taken over the date because my <laughs> latest one um, was called Booty Muncher. Ooh. And I'll read what he said under it, under Booty Muncher. I was like, I mean, like, that's not self explanatory enough. He says, Tongue-punching fart boxes since 1986. Ew. Let that sink in a minute. Tongue-punching fart boxes. <laughs> so I skipped out on that one. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Catherine. That should just bring up the rain. That should bring all the girls to the yard. Yeah, the boys. <laughs> I don't know. It could bring some goats yeah. to the yard, maybe. The human the day. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mm. So maybe Catherine's had an experience. Yeah, maybe Catherine had we'll find one. Out. She's a pretty good. Horse girl, so you never know what she's into. Let's get back to her and check out some of her dating debacles. Too. So, back in before you met Mr. Wonderful, I see an accountant. Did you yes, say? Okay. It's an accountant. It's an accountant. We call him Kevin from Accounting. Okay, I like that. So, before yeah, him, nice. can you think of any dating debacles you had um, that were just that went downright right. disturbing? Yeah. Online, I, in person. Did you I, online date at all? And I never online dated. I don't think, I don't know, if I'm ever single again, I don't know if I can do it. I'm so awkward. Good. I really can't, do, I don't know, I don't, I never online dated. I did, I, I, I was in Orlando and I started, I was a weird kid when I was like 21, 22. I really was dating a lot of 40 year olds. Oh my. <laughs> For a minute. There's got to be some kind of debacle in that shit. Right, 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 right. Um. I don't know if I have any crazy dating stories. I've always kind of been, uh, I'll tell you this. I've always liked this long-term relationship girl. Well, well, on the same lines of cheating, um, did learn, you know, the minute when you think you're better than somebody, the universe will check you. Yeah. I okay. I've been dating this guy in high school for years and um, then just decided, you know, I, I can, I can, I can try. try. Yeah, right. So I was cheating on him. The, the rival, he was a quarterback for a high school. I would cheat on the other, the rival high school's quarterback. Oh, you got so like damn right out. dirty. Digital. Right? Yeah, I know, okay. I messed up. Uh -huh. He found out. We're by, we send my breakup. I go, I go, we go off family vacation. We fly away. We come back. Um, wait, I messed up. Wait, just no, right before we go on our family vacation for Christmas. This is all going at the same time. I'm in Forever 21. <laughs> this is all important. You gotta remember this. Okay. I'm running my friend Carrie, Carrie's cousins with her, and I'd seen Carrie's cousin a couple times because she lives in New York, but she come down, like come down for the summers and get parties. Mm -hmm. So I say hi to them. I leave. <laughs> go out of town. We come, we're coming back on New Year's Eve night. I'm supposed to go to my friend's New Year's Eve party. Our flight gets delayed, so we have to drive back to May again. I miss the New Year's Eve parties. Mm -hmm. My my boyfriend who's mad at me at the time calls me the next day. He goes. I, we have to talk. He takes me out to a fancy dinner. We go to Taco Bell. Mm, <laughs> we sit that. down and he goes, I tell you something, he goes, I hooked up with Carrie's cousin last night. You know, that hurt. But we're even now, right? So long story short, I kind of, this girl was like a model. And he texts me the next day and he goes, I had this weird dream that she became famous. And I go, whatever. And he's look in the paper, look in the feature section. We go to the feature section of Louisville newspaper. She's got a big headshot because she's like some... Um, she's playing a ghost on that show Medium with Jennifer Love Hewitt. Do you remember it coming? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this girl. Okay. This girl's gonna one up me one day. But I would be quiet and I watched her career all my life, right? Because my this was my boyfriend got back at me, hook up, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I would watch him. I'd ask my friends. I'd go to college. I'm like, do you know who this girl is? And they're like, no, 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 I don't know who she is. And then one day they go, remember that girl? You were asking us if we knew who she is. I go, yeah. They go, um. Well, she is starring in a show called Hunger Games. Oh. And I go, and they're like, it's a pretty big movie. I go, that sounds lame. Hunger Games, that's like any other Tuesday for me. And, <laughs> <laughs> and she became um, Jennifer Lawrence. Holy oh, shit. So I say all that God. to be like, just when you think you're better than somebody, wow. the universe See? will check you. Thank you. You totally have Jennifer Lawrence, by the way. 
I know. That's yeah. one day. One day yeah. I'm gonna meet her. I'm gonna be like, do you remember when we met at Forever Twenty One? Yeah. 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 And we're doing a lab dance, and she's gonna be like, I'm not being around. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's like, yes, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She's like, I hooked up with Bradley Cooper. I don't care about my friends. <laughs> oh wow. Well, that was a fabulous story. Just right. Way to end the evening. Spicy. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, Kevin, for spending the time so with us. So funny. Go yeah. check her out. You right are a delight. Yeah, check her out. Yes. Um, what's your Instagram? It's at it's Catherine Blanford. Okay. Okay, and your your website so people can hook up, find where yeah. you're gonna be. CatherineLanford.com. All my tour dates are on all there. your tour dates. You're opening for mm -hmm. David Spade. Yep. Um, you got all kind of crazy stuff going on. Check yep. out her podcast, Cheaties, mm -hmm. on yeah. all the platforms. You're also on YouTube, also. Yep, I'm sure. She's so everywhere. check her out again, Catherine Blanford. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, so you guys. Us. Delightful. Thank you for Thanks. letting us give you a ride back to the luxurious hotel here. Thank you, and guys. It's just a delight, and we've mm -hmm. had a fabulous time with you. So thanks so much again, Thank guys. You. Check her out, Catherine Blanford. Thank you. Toodles. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the show today. We certainly had a good time with Catherine in her hotel room. Ended up in her bed later. Oh, just to take yeah. a picture. Don't be crazy. Don't get crazy. Don't get crazy on us. No dating debacle no, there. No dating debacle there. Again, check us out on YouTube if you haven't. And if you're watching this, you've already checked us out. So hit that little subscribe button. Doink. It uh, doesn't cost you anything, and it really helps us if you want to keep seeing this craziness and this goofy show. Mm -hmm. And uh, who knows what else is coming down. We got some really big exciting news coming down the pipe we'll, we'll be able to tell you about a little later down the road right on. so thanks again again thank you kinza brand thank you my panel thank you chicken and pickle it's been fun Till next time guys Peace. Bye.